Shalom and welcome back to Torah Kids. Today we'll be focusing on the story of creation. Let's begin. In the beginning there was no earth or sky or sea or animals and then Yahuwah spoke in the darkness, let there be light and right away there was light, scattering the darkness and showing the infinite space. That's good said Yahuwah, from now on when it's dark it will be night and when it's light it will be day. The evening came and the night passed, and then the light returned. That was the first day. On the second day, Yahuwah made the earth, and over it he carefully hung a vast blue sky. He stood back and admired his creation. That's good too, said Yahuwah, and the second day was over. The next morning, Yahuwah looked around and thought the earth needs to be a bit more organized, so he put all the water in one place and all the dry land in another. When he had finished that, Yahuwah made plans to cover the land. All sorts of trees and grasses began to grow. It's good, said Yahuwah, and that was the end of the third day. On the fourth day, Yahuwah looked around and thought, the daylight still needs a bit more work and the night is just too dark. So he made the sun to light the sky during the day and the moon and the stars to add a bit of sparkle to the night. He hung them in the sky and stepped back to look at his work. This is good, said Yahuwah. The next day, Yahuwah turned his attention to the water he had collected in the oceans. I want these waters teeming with life. As soon as he said it, it was so. In no time, there were millions of small fish darting through the shallow water and the huge fish swimming in the ocean. Yahuwah made birds too. He sent them soaring through the air. That is good, said Yahuwah. The dusk fell over the water and the sky grew dark. And that was the end of the fifth day. On the sixth day, Yahuwah added creatures to the land. He made lions and tigers and bears. He made rabbits and sheep and cows. He added everything from ants to zebras to the land. He, But he still felt something was missing. So Yahuwah added mankind to enjoy and take care of all that he had created. Yahuwah looked around and was happy with all he had made. After six days, the whole universe was completed. On the seventh day, Yahuwah sanctified and made this day set apart. He rested on that day and called it Shabbat. I hope you enjoyed this Torah Kids video. Shalom. Bye.